I kind of thought I heard something out here pecking on the side of the barn and wondered what it was. I believe I have found the culprit. Found you some water there, didn't you? Had a big, big score the other day. A friend of mine at work said he had a bunch of junk that he wanted to get rid of. Wanted to know if I was interested in it. Said there was some steel and things like that. And I said, Yeah, I'm always interested in steel. So, what it was is his father had passed away a little over a year ago, I believe. And uh, he was just getting around to cleaning up his father's place. Years and years of accumulation of stuff. His father did just a little bit of everything, handy wise. So I went out there, and this is some of the stuff. Now you'll see there's a couple of the hitches with the small receivers. Nothing big, but I'm pretty sure I can put those to use somewhere. Had a. Uh, old air tank there old sled his sister was out there and she got to just throw in anything in my truck I didn't want to say no because they were giving me a bunch of stuff this swing I really didn't have a use for this swing but I took it I think maybe I might put it out here underneath the porch of the shed I might have to modify how the bottom is because it's kind of rotted but another thing was this stove here now we already had this one but this stove here doesn't look to me like this thing's ever been used this is going to be a nice little addition to the shop out here I got it all cleaned up and it's got a battery igniter on it, it takes off I had this fired up and I put my uh, I put my cast iron tea kettle on it yesterday let it run and before I went in, the water was boiling in that teacot or teapot, and it was full. It was up to about 300 some degrees inside the burner area. Shut that off. So that works good. It's got, I don't know, if, these were quite a thing for a while during the. I didn't burn very much fuel either. I didn't. I didn't didn't fill that tank up and it's not empty. Plus there's a reservoir in the, there's a reservoir in the bottom of these that fills up. So you can take that out of there. Um, there's a cap on the other side. Right there. It's got a spring loaded valve in it. It goes down inside here. Hits that little needle and fills up the reservoir down there. You can take that out, take it outside, fill it up, and bring it back in and set it in there. And then uh, you're not filling it up while it's burning in the house. It's a pretty good little concept. But during the first energy crisis, there was quite a few of these bought people heating their homes with them, afraid they couldn't get fuel. They weren't really all that energy efficient, but they make good backup heaters. Had this kit here, took him a while to find all the pieces. Matter of fact, the charger and the drill he had to bring into work with him, but uh, some of it doesn't look like it's ever been used. Like the, the circular saw's not got much use on it. A couple blades up there. Yeah, there's a little bit of scratches on the blades, so they've probably been used. Got the reciprocating saw and the flashlight. There wasn't any batteries but I ordered two on the interwebs. Those are coming in the mail so I'll have a spare cordless drill. This drill here works fine. I plugged it in. Those two over there don't. And there was a air ratchet that works fine in the mess. Got some, uh, got some pieces of steel there were some places, some stuff laying on the ground, and this chain over here was one of those things. 
Now, if you, that's a, it's a rusty mess, but it'll clean up and get used for sure. And right next to that were some files. I said, oh, some old files, and I grabbed those up. He said, what, you want those? I said, yeah, they make good stuff. And I don't see the other files. This was, this garage door bracket was sitting there with it, and it's, it's galvanized, and you can see how the rust is eating on it. Anyway, I don't have a picture of what it looked like beforehand, but I've got a brand new one of these. This is uh, this file here. There was one of these in the in the stack. This four-way combination hand rasp file, and it was rusted real bad. And I'd been wanting to make me a draw knife, so I did just that. And that's what that draw knife come out of, was one of those right there. And this thing, I put my, put my BC 2015 in there. This thing works real good for my first real blacksmith blade. Uh, I didn't take any videos of making it. There wasn't a lot to it. I just hammered that down, drew it out. I annealed it uh, by getting it up to critical temperature in the forge out there. And then I shoved it into this bucket of ashes right next to this piece that I had preheated and stuck in there to preheat the ashes. So I annealed it and then I could, it was nice and soft and I filed it down to a close shape. Uh, with the bevel on it and the next evening I uh, I tempered it in some old motor oil or hardened it in some old motor oil then I tempered it the next evening to a uh, to a straw yellow put an edge on it let's stick it in the vise here and I'll show you how it works so I busted the handle out of my mall I've got a new one on order uh, this handle wasn't very good it broke just hitting on the head I hadn't uh, I hadn't miscued on it, hidden anything or anything. I was just splitting some wood and it broke right at the head and then it split almost the whole length of the handle. But you can see This works pretty good. Sounds to me like the chickens are eating bugs off the side of the barn. So I can use I can use this piece of hickory that broke off of that handle for another tool. Pretty daggone easy. shaving it off with this and then um, one thing these are real good for is making a hammer handle the end you can just put that right where you want the hammer head where the eye of the hammer is going to be you can put that right there where you want it and just draw it down starting right there you get that real nice and get that real nice place there for the head to rest on that way so that was that pile of stuff was pretty good fine one man's junks another man's treasure oh this hammer this hammer was in the was in the bunch nice old masonry hammer That'll make a make a good tool if I don't leave it in a leave it as a masonry hammer. Needs a handle, that's all. He's also the one. Oh. He's also the one that gave me this real nice sledge head that I've not handled up yet. I should have when I was ordering a handle for my 
maul I should have ordered a handle for this I might just do that this evening I had thought about making some other tool out of this but I don't think I will it's just too good of a sledgehead to do to ruin or not ruin but to repurpose we'll say that's all I got for right now. Y'all take care now. Yeah. There's something else that was in that stuff. I believe that's a 40 pound can. Propane. It's the old style. But that might show up in a project that might make one hell of a nice little wood stove or something of that nature you just never know